interior and exterior angles of polygons. How do I calculate these? A quick video how-to by Miss K. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about interior and exterior angles, what they are, and then how to calculate the sum of the interior and exterior angles and each angle for a regular polygon. What is a polygon? Now we should have a pretty good idea of what a polygon is based on the research that we've been doing with the vocabulary. So a polygon is a many-sided figure that has as many angles as it does sides. Now you also know that there is some other criteria. It has to be flat. Um, all the sides have to connect all the way around. The sides can't overlap and so on. What is an interior angle? It's just an angle inside a polygon. Interior just means inside. And in the hexagon here, you have one of the interior angles labeled. This hexagon has six sides, so it also has six angles, six interior angles, and it will also have six exterior angles. How can I find the sum of the interior angles of any polygon? So one of the things that we should know by now is that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So if you take any triangle and add up the three interior angles, it has to equal 180 degrees. So if we take the knowledge of this and apply it to a couple other shapes, we can derive a formula. So let's focus on the quadrilateral. If I start at one of the vertices and I start drawing diagonals to make triangles without them overlapping. So for the quadrilateral, I can only draw one diagonal to make two triangles. And I can't draw any more because I don't want my diagonals to cross. So if each of those triangles is 180 degrees and I have two triangles, so two triangles times 180 degrees gives me 360. So that means that the interior angles of the quadrilateral need to add up to 360. We can do the same thing for the pentagon. Here I can draw three triangles. Each of those are 180. Three triangles times 180 is 540 degrees. Same thing for the hexagon. Four triangles that are each 180 degrees gives me 720 degrees. And for the heptagon, we have five triangles that are each 180 degrees, which gives us 900 degrees. If you examine this just a little bit further, the quadrilateral has four sides and we get two triangles. The pentagon has five sides and we get three triangles. The hexagon has six sides and you get four triangles. And the heptagon has seven sides and you get five triangles. So if you look at each of those, we can make, if you take the number of sides and subtract two, that's how many triangles you can make. And it works for all of these. And this, this works, if you, you know, this is going to work if you don't want to use a formula, but when you get to bigger polygons with 20 sides or 30 sides or 40 sides, it's going to be really hard to draw all these triangles. So we can use a formula instead. So is there a quicker way to do this? Yes. Use the formula n minus 2 times 180 and plug the number of sides in for the n. So if you think about what we had on the last slide there, we could take the number of sides and subtract 2 and that's how many triangles we could make. And then triangles are 180 degrees. So that's where you get the n minus 2 times 180. So if you look at this table, we have a triangle, which would have three sides. And so if we use that formula, 3 minus 2 times 180 is 180 degrees. For the quadrilateral, you get four sides. So 4 minus 2 times 180 gives us 360. Same thing for the pentagon, five sides. 5 minus 2 times 180 is 540. We can do this for all of them. We just continue to put in the number of sides that we have in for the n. 
And then for the n-gon, an n-gon could be a 30-gon, a 20-gon, a 55-gon, just however many sides gon. Um, because, you know, as you get into to polygons with more and more sides, we don't have special names for those. So an n-gon has n sides, because we don't know how many. It could be anything. And then you just have what, n minus 2 times 180. What kinds of questions do I need to use this information for? So now we're going to do a couple examples, and all of these examples will be just like the ones you're going to need to do on your assignments this week. So if you have any trouble with the assignments, you might want to watch this video a couple times, take a look at the examples, and then maybe, maybe that will answer your questions. So example one says find the sum of the interior angles of a 20-gon. So we're just going to use that formula. n minus 2 times 180, and we have to put 20 in for n. So you have 20 minus 2 times 180. We have to do what's in the parentheses first. So 20 minus 2 is 18, and 18 times 180 is 3,240 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles of a 20 gon is 3,240. State which polygon, if any, has interior angles which add up to 1,980 degrees. So we're going to use the same formula, n minus 2 times 180, but here we need to put the 1980 in place of the where the sum is. So I get 1980 equals n minus 2 times 180. And what we're trying to figure out is what polygon is that that has the sum that adds up to 1,980. So we need to figure out n. So you need to divide each side by 180, on the right hand side, the 180's just cancel out, so you just get n minus 2. And on the other side, when you divide, you get 11. So now to solve for n, we're going to add 2 on both sides. So they cancel out on the right hand side, and you just have n. And on the left, you have 11 plus 2, which is 13. So a 13 gon has interior angles, which add up to 1,980 degrees. Example 3 says find the measure of each interior angle of a regular octagon. Now you've got to remember that a regular octagon is going to have 8 sides that are all the same length and 8 angles that are all the same measure. That's what regular means. So we're going to do the same thing. We have the same formula again and again and again. So to find the sum of the interior angles, we just do n minus 2 times 180. Put the 8 in for the n. So 8 minus 2 is 6, and 6 times 180 is 1,080. So that's the sum. Now I know that all 8 of my angles are exactly the same. So if we just take the sum and divide by the number of angles, we get 135 degrees. So that means that each angle in a regular octagon is 135 degrees. So the formula to find each interior angle in a regular polygon is just n minus 2 times 180, and then you have to divide by how many sides there are, or how many angles, because they're the same. So you just have to divide by n. Okay, this one says each interior angle in a regular polygon is 120 degrees. Which polygon is it? Each interior angle equals n minus 2 times 180 over n. So each interior angle is 120 degrees, and then the other side of the formula is the same. So here we need to solve for n. So we're going to start by multiplying by n on both sides to get rid of that n in the denominator. So now on the right side, those n's are going to cancel out, and we're just left with n minus 2 times 180. And on the other side, we just get 120 degrees n. Then we need to distribute on the right-hand side. So the left is going to stay the same. And on the right-hand side, we'll get 180n minus 360. So now we need to subtract 180n on each side. So on the right, those will cancel out and we're just left with negative 360 degrees. And on the left, when we subtract, we get negative 60.
So one last step to get n by itself, we have to divide by negative 60. So on the left they cancel out and we just get n. And on the right you get 6. So in a regular hexagon, because n is 6, so you know it's a hexagon because you get 6 sides. So it says in a regular hexagon each angle is 120 degrees. Okay, so on to exterior angles. Exterior angles are a little bit easier. So what is an exterior angle? It's just an angle that's formed when you extend a side of a polygon. So if you take any side of a polygon and you just continue that line, and if you look at my picture, so look at where the, the black line is and that the angle it makes with that side of the pentagon, where the arrow's pointing. So that's an exterior angle. Exterior means outside, so an angle outside of the polygon. How do I calculate the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon? This is really easy because it's always the same. It's always 360 degrees regardless of how many sides there are. So the sum of the exterior angles of a pentagon is 360. The sum of the exterior angles of a decagon is also 360. And the sum of exterior angles of a 35 gun, 360. Every time, all the time is 360 degrees. What kinds of questions do I need to use this information for? So here's an example. What is the sum of the exterior angles of a nonagon? So a nonagon has nine sides. So the sum of the exterior angles, you don't even have to think, you just have to know. Um, just memorize 360 degrees. So the sum of, of the exterior, exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degrees. So that's an easy question. The next one's a little bit harder. It says, what is the measure of each exterior angle in a regular dodecagon? So we know that the sum of the exterior angles is going to be 360. If it's a regular dodecagon, that means we have 12 exterior angles that are all the same. So we're just going to do this sum divided by the number of angles. So 360 divided by 12, which gives us 30 degrees. So in a regular dodecagon, each exterior angle is 30 degrees. So in summary here, the sum of the interior angles is just n minus 2 times 180. To get each exterior angle, it's the same thing, but you have to divide by n. For the sum of the exterior angles, it's 360. And to get each exterior angle, you have to divide by n. So again, as you're going through your exercises this week, if you get stuck, refer back to this video if you need to, if you need to see some more examples.